So, seven people is trying to reinvent themselves, right? We have all this new exciting stuff that we're going to start doing once we get our new member. But Mark Anthony thought, let's get a jump on things by having the seven people world tour. We're going to go from continent to continent, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, not such a great idea. Because things started out horribly from the start. Okay, look, we at the airport, right, right. And somebody, Quentin, didn't have their passport. So, of course, they got left. Now, some say we should have stayed with him since he's underage and whatnot and blah, blah, blah. But my freaking flyer miles can only be used once. So, we were out of there. Anyway, we just take off when Mr. Duran decides to have a panic attack. So, of course, I was like, I don't know who that is. Can we get him off the plane, please? So, they tackled him and whatnot, and they landed in the Carolinas so Miss Dari could come pick him up. Now, I don't know when the guys said, but I know what they do on their little vacation. Mm-hmm. But... Then there were four. So the rest of us get to Africa, and first thing we do, of course, well, first thing I do is buy souvenirs, you know. Got my little fertility statue because I'm shooting blanks, and I got this cute little thing right there. I don't know what it is, but I love it. And Melba was happy to be there because she needed, you know, to do a little sunbathing with her sun hat and her bikini top. It was great. Now, me, I'm a little darker than usual because I was in that sun in Africa. But it's all good. Until Mr. Mark Anthony decides to wild out on our little... Mm, Safari. You know how they have that sign and those announcements as well that say, do not reach any hands or legs outside of the vehicle? Yeah, they're not kidding, Mark Anthony. Um, that didn't end too well when he thought he'd go and pet one of the little animals and it would just be so great. <laughs> yes, no, mm, yeah. So he got some more teeth taken out and this time it wasn't voluntary. But why should they ruin the rest of our vacation? So the three of us, Monica B and I, went and uh, explored a little more of our motherland. Um, you know, a lot of Africa is like America. It's a big city with, you know, five-star hotels and all that good stuff. It's not all jungle like some people seem to think. However, we weren't in the nice part with the hotels. No, 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 no. We were out camping in all places. The jungle or some of the Sahara. I don't know where the hell we were. But I wasn't digging it. Now, me, I've never been camping. But if I were to go camping, I would need a house with electricity and plumbing and furniture. Which probably wouldn't still be camping. But anyway... Monica was really, you know, into the black power righteous movement, you know, gotta be one with the earth, all that crap. I think she's a black panther. Anyway, she decided, oh, dude, this is so awesome, you know, I gotta go and be with my people, be one with Africa. So she just proceeds to rip her clothes off. Of course, B was getting the eye full, although he's nasty too with his little stripping video, so I'm surprised he didn't join in. But she running around naked with the animals. I'm like, what is this? It's not Lion King. What is this? She's like, no, it's all right, because all these tribes in Africa, they run around naked too, so it's all right. Um, okay, there are some tribes in Africa where the people are naked and, you know, that kind of stuff, but that wasn't where we were. There were no naked tribes in that part of Africa, so I don't know what you thought you were doing, but it didn't end too well, which is why Mr. Nelson Mandela had you arrested. But at least I got to meet him and he signed my book. Mm. So, yeah, it's just the two of us, and I think, you know, why not go to the Oprah's Leadership Academy since she's from the shy. I could be like, hey, Oprah, what's up, girlfriend? Yeah, so we go there and B starts talking to Gail. It's like, yeah, I'm in nursing. You guys need any nurses? And I'm thinking, who gonna want you? You are going to school in Shreveport. Are they even accredited? But apparently, since they had to fire all their teachers for molesting the students or something, they hired him. He's not even graduated yet. What the poo? What the poo? So I'm like, okay, forget y'all. You're just gonna leave me? I'm by myself in Africa? I don't know nothing up in Africa. I don't know where I am. I don't know how to get back home. But I do know that y'all left your travelers check. So I went to town. Had me a good time, too. And I decided to skip on Africa and hit up Las Vegas. I don't know if that was a part of our world tour, but it was certainly part of mine. And thank you, all of you, because I really enjoyed it. But you know, Emily wouldn't have left me. Because y'all trifling. But it's all good. It's all good. Can't wait to see where we go next. My challenge was read a kid's story in an accent. Okay. Old McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm he had some ducks. E-I-E-I-O. With a quack quack here and a quack quack there. Hey quack, there quack, everywhere a quack quack. Old McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. I just heard it and that Yeah, anyway, wasn't that the best story you've ever... I cried in this car. Why are you always in the camera? I don't know where you get that from. Because it is not cute. I think a joke. I think you need to Anyway, tomorrow you can see Jonathan and Ayana's videos. And then next week we would have picked the winner. Yay! You're nasty. Now, Tycho.